Hi guys, Fairy Truths here, and um, I'm in my bathroom, so I'm sorry if it's echoing, but this lighting right now, um, super good, so I'm just going to roll with it. If it gets dark in the process of filming this, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Fairy Truths. I am a fairy YouTube... Hi, Karma. <laughs> this is Karma. She's my kitty. If you haven't been here before, um, I basically, I used to be a fairy. Um, I have a whole bunch of videos talking about that, so I'll link everything down below, or you can just check out all the videos on my channel. It's all related. Sorry my hair is a mess right now. I just cannot brush it right now, and I'm, yeah. I used to be a fairy um, back in the day, like years ago, and then I decided that it just wasn't really for me anymore. Um, so here, baby. She wants to get up on the window. So when I was young, I did a lot of research. Um, I was really interested in the fairy lifestyle and everything having to do with fairies. So I did a bunch of research and I found a super amazing program called Fairy School. It's something that you can't just go online and enroll or you can't just go look it up on just look it up on the internet. You actually have to go out and find it, and I did. I actually was very lucky. I had a friend, and she was actually of age. She was 18, so she was able to go to that fairy school, and she had told me all about it, and she was able to get me in because I was obviously not of age, so I wouldn't have been able to get into fairy school on my own. You have to know somebody of age to get have them get you in. I might just have to keep moving the camera because my cat keeps getting in the way, but anyway. <laughs> I have a whole video about fairy schools. I will link down below as well. You can go on my channel. I talk about them all the time in my Q&As. Um, but yeah, uh, basically I went to fairy school with a couple of my friends, Megan and Jade, um, and we just studied fairies and everything about magic and spells and potions and fairy dust. And it was super great. And I would recommend it to anybody to go and experience that. And I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, however, about the time that I started high school was then I was when I realized that maybe being a fairy just wasn't the lifestyle that I was meant to live and that doesn't mean that it's bad it doesn't mean that it's not something that you should do it just wasn't right for me and I always say this I come on YouTube to teach about the lifestyle and how it was to be a fairy for me and my experiences but how I experience it might be different for you uh, you just have to try it out for yourself. You can always change back. I have a spell. I have multiple spells and I have a reversal spell for each spell and a universal reversal spell in case there isn't a reversal spell to your the spell that you particularly choose. Um, so with that being said, it's very simple to become a fairy and decide you don't like it and to change back to how you used to be. Um, if you were born a fairy, you cannot reverse that, um, unfortunately. Well, maybe not unfortunately, but if the fairy lifestyle is not for you and you were born a fairy, it is a much more difficult process um, if you don't want to be a fairy anymore. I talk a little bit about that, but I don't know as much about it, obviously, because I wasn't born one. If you were, comment down below information on that. When I say that being a fairy wasn't the lifestyle for me, it wasn't that it was negative on my life and it wasn't that I... And it wasn't that I hated it. It was just that I wanted to do something else and it wasn't really going in the direction for me anyway that I wanted it to. I was doing good, but I didn't really notice a difference personally where I was. Uh, but I have talked to other people that I know that became fairies and did so much and noticed such a difference and it just inf affected them as a person. So if if that's something that you're interested in, I highly recommend to become a fairy. But um, I just wanted to do something different. I kind of wanted to live like a normal life, I guess. Um, it was kind of causing problems uh, with my friend group because no one really wanted to do it anymore, but no one wanted to say anything. And then it just kind of became like, okay, this we, this isn't for us. We need to transition into something else. So um, it's pretty cool to figure stuff like that out, but obviously it was a very hard decision to make. And it took a lot of time and thinking and then I decided to post my first video to YouTube which got an overwhelming amount of uh, attention and so I started making more videos to reach out to more people because I noticed that people were enjoying what I was putting out there and people were learning and people were teaching so I thought it was super cool to share that with the world and have others share it with the rest of the world so it's um it's it's great I love what I do and I think it's awesome that I can still live this normal life, but come online and talk about my experiences when it wasn't so normal. So I guess the main reason I'm making this video is because I've been getting a lot of questions about what, how 
is this real? How do I know this is right for me? Um, and just a lot of confusion and concern. So I'm here to clear the air. Um, I, I don't have many photos of me from when I was a fairy simply because it's very difficult to capture a photo of a fairy in action. Technology alone hurts fairies and their powers and makes them weak. It works against us rather than for us because when fairies originated, this type of stuff didn't exist. So all of the magic that's within isn't used to this type of uh, technology, uh, radio waves, uh, what is it, power, you know what I'm trying to say. There's uh, waves in your cell phone, your computer, your TV, something pulling that out and broadcasting to you. So fairy magic is just not used to that. It cannot withstand a lot of that. However, there are certain cameras, certain moments that you can capture it. And I do have a few pictures. I've lost most of them, but I do have a few that I can show you and I have shown before. Um, and if you are a patron on my Patreon and you do the $15 a month or more, you will be receiving, uh, if you subscribe or pledge, I guess, in the month of May, then in June, you will receive that picture of me. So you can do whatever you want with that. I will sign it and everything, and that will be in your package. So I highly recommend you click the link below and at least for the month of May, do that $15 pledge and get that picture. If that's something that you want. If not, I don't care. You can just watch this video and I will feel low. Insert photos here. And then the second thing was, how do I know that it's right for me? Well, you'll never really know until you try it. Uh, so I highly recommend you try it. If anything, you can always change back. There's no strings attached. So I want you to leave all of your most frequently thought questions down below. And if you see a question that you also want to know, give it a thumbs up so that I can see it at the top of this video. And in my next video, I'm going to be going through every single question and answering every single question that I see. Even if I've answered it before a million times, I'm going to go through and answer every single question that I see. Um, obviously I get hundreds of comments, so if I don't see your comment, I really do apologize, but to, uh, kind of stop that from happening, just thumbs up the question that you have so that if everyone has the same question, it'll be the top thing that I see rather than seeing 10 of the same question and maybe not answering it, you know, so definitely do that. And, uh, this video was kind of more like an introduction because I noticed that I've been getting new viewers and maybe they don't know who I am, what I do. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, once again, my name is Fairy Truths. My Patreon link is down below as well as the videos I mentioned and leave your most uh, thought about questions down below and I will get back to you in my next video. As always, bye.